Thank you for joining us. In today's news, the United States government has been hacked again in what cybersecurity experts are calling a common occurrence. Now, in all seriousness, the U.S. government, along with many other organizations, has managed to get hacked by Russian hackers and Chinese hackers. And this news is all dropping today. So in this video, we're going to talk about what is going on, where are these hacks coming from, what is being affected, as well as what you can do as an individual if you may have been involved in this hack. So as always, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe down below, and let's go ahead, waste no more time, and get right into this hack. So the U.S. government is a big player and big name in this hack. However, there are other organizations involved, including foreign organizations, universities are involved, we see Shell Corporation being involved or Shell Energy. We see universities such as Johns Hopkins, Georgia University. We're seeing foreign ministries involved in this hack. And this is big news. We get one of these probably once a year, maybe twice a year. And this is big breaking news for a hack and for cybersecurity. So what is getting hacked actually? Okay, so the big news of today is that a Russian group called the Klopp Ransomware Gang is going around and exploiting this move it vulnerability. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Now, this article is from June 7th, though this actually dates back to May, late May, when these attacks started happening. Now, this first started with SQL injection and they have managed to get remote code execution off of this, which means that they're able to upload ransomware and take over devices. Now, they've claimed to compromise over 200 organizations with this move it vulnerability and if you don't know what move it is move it is a secure file transfer software and it's used by a lot of organizations you can even see that there's a product advisory on this web page it says hey click for mitigation measures and patch information because there is a lot of stuff going around last update being june 15th there are two big ones okay the one that was announced may 31st and there's also this new one from june 9th but the big one is here today on June 15th, another SQL injection vulnerability. Now they have taken all HTTPS traffic down from Move It Cloud, and they're telling all of their customers to take down their HTTP and HTTPS traffic for now until they can patch this. It's wild what's going on, and there's just vulnerability after vulnerability, and they cannot seem to keep up. The latest wave, and we don't know who's truly affected yet, is from today, June 15th. So all of these organizations before, the 200 plus compromised organizations, that was from June 7th. So this is just advisory after advisory and issue after issue with this Move It platform. On top of this, Chinese state-backed hackers are hacking Barracuda. And what they're hacking specifically is this email security gateway of Barracuda, which is a physical device that gets plugged in on site. Now, according to Barracuda, 5% of all devices have been compromised. And they're asking customers to take down their devices and they will send a new one over. This is all madness and crazy what's going on just today. And this hack includes the U.S. government. This includes foreign ministries. This includes other organizations as well. But this is much more targeted and much different than the Russian ransomware that's out there. This is state-backed intentional hacking of specific devices where the ransomware out of Russia was more of, hey, let's earn as much money as we can by uploading ransomware, extracting data, and we're gonna dump that data if you don't pay the fee. So there are multiple hacks going on right now for different motivation. Overall, you as an end user, what do you care? Well, if you are involved in any way with any of these organizations, meaning if you ever had an account, for example, Shell has been hacked. If you have a Shell login where you have an account, like a username and a password, you probably need to change your password. If any of these could be involving you and there's a good chance with so many companies being hacked, you're probably involved with your data, your information, and we don't know the scope of this yet. So you need to be cautious. You need to make sure that one, you are not reusing passwords anywhere. Make sure that you are using a password manager. I highly, highly recommend Bitwarden. I have no ties or incentive to say Bitwarden. Bitwarden is just open source. It's free. It's great. Highly recommend it. If you're not using Password Manager, do that now. We look at breaches and a lot of times this data gets dumped. That data includes your username, your password, your home address, your IP address, all kinds of information about you. We've seen scary cases in the news before 
One I can think of recently where a baby monitor got hacked and somebody was actually using that to communicate with a child in their bedroom. How did this hack happen? Well, it happened through what's called credential stuffing, where somebody takes a username and password found in a breach database that comes from a breach, like what happened today, and they take those usernames and passwords and just try logging into all kinds of websites. They took this and they were successful in logging into a baby monitor. That's terrifying, but that is the reality of what happens. You put your data out there, you put your passwords out there, and you hope that they stay safe, but eventually we're all going to be involved in a breach. I've been involved in lots of breaches, just thanks to the US government, countless other breaches as well. And chances are, if you're watching this, you've been involved in a breach too. So what can you do to protect yourself? Again, passwords, do not use the same password everywhere. Use a password manager, use multi-factor authentication, and just be cautious. You can never be too safe in today's world. So that's it. We don't know a whole lot yet. We just know there's a lot of hacks going on and that's all happening today. So keep your eyes peeled, make sure you're being cautious, make sure you're being aware and make sure you're being secure. That's it for today's video. Until next time, my name is Heath Adams, AKA The Cyber Mentor, and I do thank you for joining me. Peace out.